solar energy will one day power the world. With DNV's vision, it'll be by Sunday. The sun is the planet's primary energy source, distributing abundant, free, clean energy around the globe. Every hour, the Earth is bathed in more energy than mankind uses in a full year. Compared to other resources, solar radiation striking our planet is an order of magnitude greater than all the non-renewables, including fossil fuels and nuclear. Current trends in energy supply and use are patently unsustainable, economically, environmentally, and socially. As the population increases another 30% by 2030, growth will concentrate in coastal megacities, stressing land and water resources. This trend will drive greater energy demand, outstripping current production capabilities. Land use in congested cities allows little opportunity for rooftop solar, while land surrounding urban areas is at a premium. These factors push large-scale ground-mounted solar to remote areas. Fortunately, solar radiation is distributed over the entire planet, 70% of which is ocean. The world needs cheap, clean energy. Offshore solar is the answer. Sunday is the answer. The Sunday concept is made possible with thin film solar panels, which are flexible and lighter than the traditional rigid glass-based modules, allowing them to undulate with the ocean surface. The solar panel is mounted onto a pliable flotation mat, housing a three-phase micro-inverter providing AC power to create a simple plug-and-play module using marine-grade connectors. An array of these floating modules would be manufactured as a pre-wired unit, significantly reducing the number of electrical connections while also minimizing the need for offshore assembly. A collection of these arrays, totaling 4,200 solar panels, forms an expansive solar island capable of generating two megawatts of power. Multiple islands connected in series constitute a solar field of 50 or more megawatts, producing enough electricity for 30,000 people. To give a sense of scale, each two megawatt island covers approximately the same area as Vigland's Parken or a large football stadium. Paramount to building an ocean-based system of this size, the structure had to be based on tension. The natural solution to this challenge is the structurally efficient spider web. This dynamic compliant structure is capable of dealing with the environmental loads acting upon it. Cables form the elegant hexagonal geometry utilized to minimize the number of anchor points, while also accommodating nesting or grouping configurations. Separating the solar arrays into prefabricated sections allows for large-scale manufacturing and streamlined assembly offshore. The cable grid provides for maintenance access in the form of floating gangways. Additional space between the solar panels and the walkways reduces shading on the solar panels and allows for water drainage. The island has been optimized for solar capability and cabling efficiency. Solar arrays are divided into electrical zones, each of which feed into dedicated sub-switches. These are spread throughout the island, minimizing cable runs. Two main switches gather the electrical power from all of the zone sub-switches. The whole field feeds into the central step-up transformer, serving as the top of the electrical food chain. The main switches and transformer are centrally located in a weather-tight housing. The system-wide modularization includes electrical connectors, arrays, cables, and walkways. The mid and perimeter markers are also common and house water cannons for automatically cleaning the arrays. Perimeter buoys double as warning markers with navigational beacons. As a result, the entire island is created with a small number of repeated components. Below the water, the shape of the island is held in place due to the tensile forces from the spread mooring. This lengthy mooring arrangement is both compliant and resilient to the passing waves. From the central island, electrical transmission lines connect, tying other islands in series to form a closed loop and continue to the land-based electrical substation. These floating islands, along with their mooring lines, provide underwater structure and thus fish habitats. Additionally, ocean-based solar farms could be integrated with offshore wind farms or use solar energy and seawater to cleanly produce hydrogen. 
the ocean affords abundant available space adjacent to coastal populations. Lightweight, flexible panels on a low-profile tensile structure will be cost-effective and eliminate eyesore concerns. Sunday's photovoltaic solar modules have no moving parts, creating a reliable, predictable, and scalable system with low maintenance. With cheap, clean energy and a sustainable future, you can breathe easy. Every day can be a Sunday.